here we are in the LT200 dungeon. Uh, just one or two questions have been asked. The brake horn I've modified to put a 45 or 40 degree rake to the rear to replace the horn that was supplied in the kit, which is 90 degrees. So it sort of it did stick up like that, which sort of worked. Um, this works a little bit better. Uh, here we go. You can see the push rods clear of the wing surface. A bit of screaming there from the servo, but that's okay. And that's about 90 degrees. Shut up. Yes, uh, and I did modify the brake servo insulation to have screws rather than slide in. There we go. That's the insulation on the other wing. Opposite to that. So it's just the stock plywood bits that were supplied for mounting the server, I just sort of chopped them off and drilled them and put that in. Um, ailerons are proper aileron servos now, the flat ones. Once again I've jurigged them to screw them in. Uh, lots of wires to hide in there but it's, it all works. You can all tuck all that wiring away. Um, and the other thing is that the plan doesn't really uh, tell you about it. It's, you know, this is, you're stuck with this, because that's, that's how it's built. But this is the issue. Um, the horn on the aileron. Um, do, you, do you mount it in line with the servo horn, or do you as we always used to know best practice is put it on the hinge line at an angle like that that's not really going to work um, because there's such a short moment arm between these two that the twisting will be not not acceptable so after research I'm intending to do that you get my drift and made it in line with the the servo arm and I think after looking at a bit of stuff uh, going back over here the um, looking at the Optera which is an e-flight model um, that's got a sweat wing sweat data on elevons actually and their servo and horn is mounted in line so I'm going to try that, um, but I'll let you know how we get on. But the the inner wing's essentially finished. Um, that's that's finished with. That uh, just needs to be painted and covered and what have you. Uh, and I'm now working on the outer wing panels. Uh, the fuselage pod. That's what it is. Uh, I've got the motor installed now, so that's that's okay. Um, what else is there to say? Not a lot, really. Yeah, as I say, that's that's the little modification. Get in focus there. Gonna zoom in. Yeah, it just rakes just about forty-five degrees back, which gives you that clearance here. Look. This clearance here between the wing surface and the push rod. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to know? Let me know.